pitched in and, and really you doing you do this to help keep our Hi, I'm Sean Nickel, I'm the president of the Lake Alatuna Association. And, and I'm, oh, I'm this sorry. is Mike I'm Bearden, and he's uh, one of our board directors, one of the directors and uh, the treasurer. So Mike, and we've been working together for uh, six, seven, eight years. We've forgotten our dementia doesn't allow it for years. <laughs> Try to build a community-based volunteer organization whose purpose is to preserve and improve this wonderful asset that we call Lake Alatuna here in our backyard. Folks, y'all may not realize it, but the, the economic impact of Lake Alatuna locally is on the order of three to four hundred million dollars a year. And we have forces that have been underway for decades that threaten the viability of the lake. It's our purpose, and Sean formed this years ago, and I joined him a year later, to put together political resistance to those forces that would hurt our lake. So we've been working on that. We work on a lot of other things while we're here today to celebrate the cleanup of the lake in 2014 this year and usually we end up with almost 5,000 people working the lake all over the lake big big shoreline obviously a lot of acres of water but a lot of shoreline and that's what has to be cleaned up many many scouts and you can see the people behind us eating lunch afterwards we typically end up serving between a thousand and fifteen hundred people it's the largest cleanup of a core lake in the United States it takes a massive effort by a committee of 15 to 20 people working all year long uh, to organize it and then uh, sponsors behind the camera there are uh, a bunch of sponsor tents I think we have on the order of 15 sponsors this year it keeps growing every year that's what pays for this so it's a purely volunteer driven thing yeah the governments are involved and and there are various government entities that support it but it's a volunteer driven cleanup which is really a cool thing there's no public money involved it's good folks cleaning up for their neighbors it's a real success and uh, the picnic's a lot of fun at the end kind of a party to end it all this morning these 4,000 folks or so spent at least a couple of hours picking up litter of all sorts across the lake uh, tons and tons of debris that careless thoughtless thoughtless and uh, otherwise um, uninvolved folk leave but we're just blessed to have such a wonderful community spirit of volunteers and what Sean said is when we the Lake Alton Association took this over four years ago prior to that it had been a government driven entity that was frankly suffering it was dying on the vine and we felt obligated because of our community-based spirit to uh, absorb it and ensure that it grows and it has every year it's become more powerful than the year before thank you for being here today. Once again, this is yeah, thank you, you, you guys for coming to that. Welcome. I'm Dr. Patterson at Patterson Family Chiropractic Clinic. I ask people all over the city, what do you know about chiropractic? And they all say the same thing. It helps with headaches, mid-back pain, neck pain, low back pain, and sciatic pain. Well, current research is showing that chiropractic can help with the rest of these symptoms also. I also ask, have you ever been to a chiropractor? And they either say no, or they say yes, but I didn't like the popping and the snapping and the twisting feeling. Well, at Patterson Family Chiropractic Clinic, I use low force technique where there is no snapping or popping or cracking. We are located right next to Okinawa Restaurant. Telephone number is 770-383-9605. I am Dr. Patterson at Patterson Family Chiropractic Clinic, and thank you. Hey guys, I'm Don Weathers with 24 Bail Bonding. You need a bondsman? I'm your man. I can get you out of any jail anywhere in the state of Georgia. I'll set you up with some easy payment plans, uh, easy payment terms. We're open 24-7, even including holidays. You need a bondsman? I'm your man. You come see me at 24 Bail Bonding, located in Cartersville, Georgia. 770-382-2424. Come see me. Michelle Queen and I am a full-time realtor. Valerie Davis, Contracts Manager and Marketing Specialist. We are the Realty Queen and Team. You know, sometimes we hesitate on things that we know we need to do, but once we do them, aren't we glad we did them? Have you been thinking of selling your home? Well, it's the perfect time. It's a seller's market. So call now to list with me. 
please allow me the privilege of earning your business. And when it's time to buy, we promise to make you feel right at home. Our unique buyer's assessment is able to pinpoint the home of your dreams. Details, experience, and 21st century technology do make a difference. Experience royal customer service. Call the Realty Queen and team today. Hi there, welcome to West End Pharmacy. We're a locally owned pharmacy here in Cartersville. We're independent, not associated with any chains, located conveniently on West Avenue next to the subway. We specialize in providing great customer service to our customers. Most of our customers wait less than 10 minutes to get their prescriptions filled. We are located on West Avenue next to Subway, just east of Ingalls. We accept insurance. We have competitive prices for those who do not have it. Come see us and experience the best service in town. Invited to a realty luncheon, uh, whatever that is, I don't even know what that is. By the uh, uh, realty queen, Michelle Queen. Hold on, let's. Hopefully, she comes to the door. Hi, Dave. Michelle. Thanks for coming Hi, to our Michelle. agent luncheon. I appreciate. It. What is an agent luncheon? Well, an agent luncheon is part of our service when you list your home with the realty queen and team. Mm -hmm. We do it uh, the first week on the market. We do um, an agent luncheon. And what that is, is we invite all the local agents into your home. Right. We provide them lunch and two gift card giveaways. And they also, in return, will fill out a feedback sheet about your home regarding the condition of it, um, price, the location. A, does that a lot help? of great feedback. It's very helpful. It lets us know, you know, if we need to improve on anything because you do want top dollar for your home. So anything that we can do to make sure you get top dollar, that's what we do. And who are the people here now? Well, we have a, an agent with Keller Williams. This is Jessica Johnson. And Hi, she's, Jessica. Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. She oh. came to support this. Okay. And who are and these then people? over here we have, um, this is Jenny Walker. She actually does our catering for the hey, agent Jenny. lunches. What'd she bring? Well, it's a surprise. Okay. It's really yummy. We can't wait to see it. Yeah. Oh. Okay. And then over here, this is, um, you know how you always ask me how we're a one-stop Yes. Team, you well, do it all. Yes, we do it all. Well, one of our great team members we have is Charlie Perry. Okay. Say hey, hi, Charlie. Charlie. Hi, Dave. How are you? I'm good. What do you do? I'm a lender. Um, I work for SWBC Mortgage and um, work with Michelle and her clients and getting them pre approved and helping them find the right mortgage for them. Is it a good time to get a loan? Absolutely. What kind of interest rates are we looking at there? With good, with good credit. Good credit around four, four and a quarter, depending on what type of loan program you're going on. You know, I was excited when I got a loan for eight and a half percent many years back, and I thought that was the greatest loan ever. Of course, that was 30 years ago. But Absolutely. Four and a half percent, yes. boy. Yes, great time to buy, and that, that explains why we are low on inventory as well, because the interest rates have decreased and more people are buying, so you have the su supply and demand effect. And first time home buyers, I mean, there's a, there are banks yeah, we, out there that will work with you? Yeah, we also um, have all of of Calhoun, which is where we're at today. We're at our first Tuesday tour home, which you guys will be seeing next Tuesday. It's a new um, feature that we're Where will they see out. that? They will see that on the realtyqueen.com and put in Michelle Queen for my Facebook and it'll be on there, it'll be on YouTube, all over the place. So, um, and that, that program that we're launching next Tuesday is gonna be beneficial because we're actually gonna go through all of our current listings and all of our new listings that hit the market and you get a, a raw video tour of the home so you can see if it's some, something that you would want to uh, schedule a tour with. The RealtyQueen.com. Yes. All right. Got to look at the food. All right. What was brought here? Oh, that uh, looks good. Yeah. Who made this? Jenny Walker Jenny? did. It's um, chocolate truffles. and Oreo truffles. Yeah. Oh yeah. man, they look good. And, and what's the what's the main dish? It's homemade chili. Oh god. So this is what you set up for realtors and bankers right. and just yeah. everybody just to come see the house. And yes, we we usually have on an average about twenty three agents, mm -hmm. um, at, you know, in the home for the agent luncheon, and our menu rotates so that way. We, we give them great food and they don't eat the same thing every time. So, and our gift cards are usually $50 and $25 giveaways um, normally. And uh, also, I have someone else I want you to meet on my team. Who's that? Everyone needs insurance. Everybody. Whether it's, everybody. Okay. Whether it's automobile insurance or homeowner's insurance. And this young lady, she just saved my last client that's okay. closing next week. $3,000. Ooh. That basically paid the property tax. So and who is that? This page. 
Burns. I paid. It was thirty three hundred dollars actually. Oh, okay, great. <laughs> and, and what do you supply? What's your job? What's your... I am an independent insurance agent. So whether it's home, auto, boats, motorcycles. Whatever. Right here in Cartersville. I'm actually my office is actually in Rome. Okay. But Cartersville is where my sphere of influence is, and Michelle and I have a great working relationship. And if somebody, she used to be an agent. Really? So, so you do this for everybody. Not, I mean, if somebody lists a home with you, right. this is you bring all the realtors about the home. Yes. Yeah. We we schedule the agent caravan, and then after that, we do a public open house. So you, there's a lot of perks to listening with me. So everybody, Michelle Queen, the Realty Queen dot com. SOS Mattress, best quality, best price, guaranteed. Where can you find a huge selection of high-end mattresses without paying high-end prices? SOS Mattress, best quality, best price, guaranteed. Where can you save 50 to 80% off retail every day? SOS Mattress, best quality, best price, guaranteed. We offer the lowest prices on the best name brand mattresses. SOS Mattress and Clearance Center on Highway 41 in Cartersville, one block south of Home Depot. Hey, this is Joe Wilson, co-owner of Parnick Jennings Funeral Home, Cartersville's locally owned funeral home, serving all of Bartow County since 1977. The biggest difference uh, of, of our funeral home here in Bartow County, Cartersville, is that we are a locally owned funeral home. Uh, we make all our decisions right here in the funeral home. When people walk in the door, they're going to meet the owner and know that we're making decisions on what's best for the families that have placed their trust and confidence in us and the needs of our community. One thing we always say to families that place their trust in us is ask a family we have served. We want people to know that when they come here for probably one of the most difficult experiences in their life, that, that they can feel comfortable with us. You know, all our family actually comes to Party Jennings. You know, once we lose a loved one, um, we, we call on them because, you know, they, they really took care of us in the past. As far as uh, controlling the funeral, um, the arrangements for the uh, traffic into to the gravesite, to, everything went perfect and, you know, in order like it needed to be. And, you know, especially with a loved one that you lost, you want things to go like you're supposed to, and they've really done a, a, a professional job of doing it. Prearranging a funeral it could be probably one of the most important things that you could do for your loved one. You have time to make those decisions in a calm, relaxed atmosphere, and you can lock in the price. In today's economy, you know, price is something that we have to think about. And by making a prearrangement in advance and funding it, you're guaranteeing that those prices will be there and you'll be protected from any future inflation. On behalf of myself and all the staff here at Parnick Jennings Funeral Home, we want you to know it would be our honor to serve your family during your time of need. Please call us at 770-382-0034. Hi, I'm Steve Bagwell. If you have bad credit due to hard times, pay where you're twice. With a full-time job and income of only $1,800 a month, I have bank financing approval for you immediately. Hey, we're located at 601 Grassdale Road. You can also reach us on our Facebook link or you can dial 678-605-8874. Hey, give us a call, contact us, please let us have you out. Good afternoon. We want to welcome you to the Adairsville uh, Depot. This is the Age of Steam Railroad um, Museum. This is, we're in the midst of celebrating the Great Locomotive Chase Festival here in Adairsville. And this particular museum um, has a lot of historical information about the Great Locomotive Chase. Uh, over here, if you'll follow me this way. This shows you the pathway that the uh, chase followed, starting down almost uh, in Marietta at Big Shanty, and continuing on through Kingston, Adairsville, Resaca, Dalton, and uh, ending just out of, uh, outside of Chattanooga. The chase was a plot from, by uh, 
Union soldiers, the, the Union had decided that if they could break the railroad lines and communication lines, supplies, that uh, they would be able to significantly damage the Confederacy during the Civil War. And so there was a group of, who called themselves Raiders, led by um, one individual, James J. And Andrews. And James J. Andrews was the only, he was a civilian spy in the Union. And all the rest of the Raiders, and there were 20, I believe 20, eight, 22? 22. And they were all in the Union Army. And what they did is they got on the train in Big Shanty when the engineer conductor got off and all the passengers to have breakfast at the cafe right across from the tracks. So the Union soldiers, Andrews Raiders, they jumped on the train and took off with it, heading north, as Anna has told you. And there is actually a uh, Walt Disney movie by the same name, The Great Locomotive Chase, uh, that a lot of people are familiar with that uh, depicts the chase and the movie. Out of the, the Raiders, two of them actually didn't make it into, uh, onto the train. They, they stayed at a separate hotel and overslept, and so they missed being a part of that, which, as you can see at the end result, six were exchanged as prisoners of war, six were hanged, and, uh, or eight were, uh, were hanged, and eight escaped. There was actually a reunion of the remaining survivors from the chase in uh, 1906 in Nashville, Tennessee. But the chase itself, um, as it came through Adairsville, the train engine had been stolen and it was, they were working to cut the telegraph lines and disrupt the tracks. And then as they came back through, um, Mr. Fuller gave chase, and the captain of the uh, engine gave chase, and through various means, first on foot and then with a hand cart and then later on two different engines to try to catch his engine. Um, eventually they were able to do that by making it to Big Shanty. Uh, over here, this is a picture of the Union General whose idea it was to hatch the plot to, to try to start the, the chase. And then over here is a little bit of information about the end of the line and the historical figures who were part of this. Uh, we understand that recently um, both Mr. Andrews and Mr. Fuller's family have contacted uh, a local artist, uh, Skip McNutt, the part-time artist uh, business here, um, that they're interested in learning more about the chase and the participation. So we'd love to have them here. So we hope you'll come down and visit the depot and come spend some time at the festival if you can. Thanks. You having a good time here at the festival? Excellent time. Best day to have. Okay. Perfect weather. It is. It, this is great weather. This really is. What What are you eating there? That looks so good. Bloomin' onion. That's about as healthy as they come, isn't it? Oh, yeah. I feel my arteries clogging already. <laughs> <laughs> but that's what you come to the festival for. Do you live here in Adairsville? Yes, I do. How long you lived here? 15, 15 years. years. Where did you come from? Texas. Wow. Where in Texas? Down around the NASA area. My dad retired from NASA. So w what brought you to Adairsville? Uh, work brought me to Bartow County, and we picked Adairsville because of the small town. Could you imagine living anywhere else? Is this? Uh, I'll never move. Really? Oh yeah, we're here. To, we're here to stay. You know, I've met a lot of people that have come to Bartow, and there's just there's nothing else that compares to it. It's just this is it. This is where you want to be. Oh yeah, we love it. Kids all graduated from Adairsville High. I got two more to graduate. We're here. To, we're here to stay. It's a great life, man. It really oh, yeah. is. Anything worth seeing here? Anything you want to point me in the direction that maybe I'll miss or? Uh, you can't miss out on the good gospel music they got going on down on the stage. That's the best. The gospel music? Yep. All right, I'll make sure I'll record and if something. if you want a good cupcake, go to Emma Lou's Bakery right there at the corner. Where's that? Right, right across? Right there. Best cupcakes in town. Emma Lou's Cupcakes. Yes, sir. All right. Thank you very much for the lead. Thank All you. Right. All right. Sure
Hey guys, Jay Watts, Terry Reed Hyundai here again. This week, talking to you, Cars Will Uncut, showing you our new 2015 Sonata in Genesis. A little new front end design, I know they look awesome, but you know what that means? That means thousands off the 2014s left in the lot, 113 Elantras, 30 Sonatas, another nine or 10 Genesis. Tons of 14 models here, all thousands off sticker. I'm talking up to at least $6,000 off sticker price on these Hyundais. You guys know there's not that kind of markup in an import car, although they are made in America. We're still an import vehicle. Take one home today. It's really simple. Come in, ask for me, Jay Watts. Tell them Cars Will Uncut sent you. I'll give you an extra 500 off. Make that real easy for you. Again, Jay Watts, Terry Reed Hyundai up on the hill on Highway 41. Cars Will Uncut. Results immediately. We also have digital x rays. Come on down to Pet Vet Clinic. We're located at the corner of Burn Hickory and Mission Road. Our business hours are Monday through Friday, 8 to 5. We're here Saturdays from 8 to 12. Hope to see you soon. So, what do we do here at Sun Tamers? We tent windows. Everything we do comes with a lifetime warranty. What sets us apart? Experience. We've been in business for over 22 years right here in the same location. I've been tenting for 25. Just wanted everybody to know that we do more than cars. We do houses, we do boats, we do commercial buildings. We can save you a lot of money on your energy bill. We can add security to your house with safety and security films. We can do a lot of things. Just give us a call. I'm Christy Howard, manager of the new Lickety Splits Ice Cream Store, located right here off Tennessee Street, right next to Appliance World and a cut above hair salon. We have daily specials every day of the week, Monday through Sunday. You come in, you buy something, you get something free or a percentage off. You know, we have some hand-dipped ice creams, waffle home cones made from scratch. Come in, get a double ice cream cone, put some toppings on there on a hot day like today. Wouldn't that be good? Stop sitting at home, come on in. Banana splits made from scratch. So many different toppings to choose from. Come on in and remember, share us and like us on Facebook. Danny Pelfrey, he is in, what business are we in right now? I am the minister of First Christian Church here okay. in Adairsville. And what's this business where you're sitting Oh, this right? is a 1902 Stock Exchange. This is a neat place, isn't it? It is. It's a cool place. And I'm seeing you're sitting in front of, you got a, hold on, let me show you your book, Out of the Depths. This is Danny Pelfrey. Nice to meet you, Danny. Good to meet you. Is this, have you written many books? Uh, this is, uh, I have written, um, this is my second. Uh, but my, my wife also shares in, in uh, writing this book, and she has written several previously. What is this a book? What is this book about? This is a book of fiction, and uh, it uh, uh, is set here in the Dairysville, mm -hmm. and uh, it uh, uh, we use a, a story from from the past, something actually happened here in the mm -hmm. A story of Dixie Adair. A little, baby that was found to buried in a cemetery uh, north of town and uh, uh, they uh, found her alive uh, and, uh, and uh, gave her the name. She lived. They gave her the name Dixie A. there because she was beside the Dixie Highway near Daresville. And uh, we jumped 90 years from there and solved the mystery of, of uh, <laughs> Dixie A. there. All in my, uh, uh, my imagination, of course, yeah. it's pure fiction. Donald Pelfrey, everybody. This Danny one, Pelfrey. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Danny Pelfrey. I'm sorry. This is Danny Pelfrey. This is his book, Out of the Depths. Where can they find it? Uh, the uh, Certainly here at the uh, 1902 Stock Exchange. It will continue to be on sale here indefinitely. And uh, also, you know, any bookstore might or might not have it, depending if people come in and ask for it, they're going to stock it. And uh, if uh, uh, so online, I guess they could find it. Oh yeah, it's, it's everywhere online uh, through the usual, you know, Barnes and Noble and uh, the whole, yeah. the, whole uh, uh, the whole gamut of, uh, of internet uh, uh, types of places. Hey everybody, this is Danny Belfry. Very nice to meet you. Good to meet you. Thank you. Thank you. Hello. Hi. All right. Was that apple butter? Yes. Did y'all make this apple butter? 
we all went as a family as family field trip, and we picked apple at, we picked apples at the RNA orchard. And and on Tuesday, I was one of the older kids that got to go in at the cannery and can all the apple butter. So y'all made all this. You picked the apples, jarred the apples in the past couple weeks, or how long? It's just this week. Just all right, we and you're, them all on Tuesday. you're selling this. Yes. What are you selling them for? We're selling them for my school education PlayStation. Your school education PlayStation. Yes. What is that exactly? Education PlayStation is a. It's kind of like a hybrid, hybrid school, and um, it's just different age groups and um, like three times. She's one of your assistants, really. Yeah. Yes. She's one of our teaching students, and uh, we also do therapy as well. So. Therapy. I'm a speech therapist, and so we do uh, feeding therapy and uh, speech and language therapy, and cognitive therapy. Who is this school open to? The public. It's a private school. It's privately funded. What age? Um, we start with twos, and we go all the way up and have classes through teenagers. What do you teach them at two years old? How to play, uh, like with their friends and teaching positive play. So that's the main thing for two is encouraging very positive play. Is it important to get a kid out at two and do this stuff? I mean, is it? I think so. Give yeah. them an advantage. I mean, help make them social and stuff like that. I guess. And yeah, it's more. It's really to help them um, learn how to be around others and uh, a lot of the kids that come to us. Well, not a lot of them, but some of them have special needs. We specialize in special needs, and, and so um, having you know children have examples of peers is extremely important. So we use peers to help with a lot of our children have special needs. You're up to what age? We go all the way into teenagers, and we have classes for adults too. We do like cupcake classes. And is, is this something you do outside of school? No, we do it. Um, I mean, we do it all hours. We it, have you mean it, it is school? It is it, in place of school. In part, in yes, it's part, well. We do things um, that it, we do hybrid schooling, which is a mix of homeschooling and private school. Okay. But then we also do like after school classes. So we have a lot of children that come that. You go to public school or go to another private school and take a class like an art or dance or something. And this is what you do? Yes, I've been going since I was five. You like it? Yes, very much. How old are you now? I am 12. Man, you're getting old. <laughs> okay. She's a great helper. She helped us with our apple butter. And she's well, I tell you what, it looks good. Is it selling well? Yeah, we've already sold over 120. All right. If anybody wants more information about this school, how do they? What is it? How do they reach you? Go on our website www.educationplaystation.com or our Facebook page too. And uh, there's all kinds of things you can learn about our summer camps and all the different classes we offer. Thank you very much. Thanks. Have a wonderful day. Thank you. Take it back now, y'all. One hop this time. One hop this time. Reverse. Reverse. Slide to the left. Slide to the right. Reverse, reverse. Reverse, reverse. Cha-cha now, y'all. Cha-cha again. Cha-cha now, y'all.